and gentlemen, it is your man's Mr. Dominic Cruz featuring ABC, NBC, CBS, Yahoo, and Fox coming at you with another video, baby. Yes, another one, another one, another one. Ooh, hope you guys are trying for your purpose and mission life. You guys are going out there, working hard for it, guiding out, and getting rewarded for it. Because at the end of the day, when we go to purpose and mission life, good things do happen. Let's talk. Yo, it has been a minute since I made a video. Honestly, been MIA because I've been working real hard. If some of you guys don't know, I do uh, have a, I, you know, basically one of my jobs is doing real estate investing. Uh, and pretty much, you know, treat that as, just like, obviously it's my nine to five and, uh, just pretty much just working and focusing on myself, just really taking that time to really develop into, you know, just being better because my whole goal is to be better than yesterday, but I definitely did have plans to come back to doing these videos, but it may not be as consistent as last time. This is basically every time I get a chance to do so. So, and, you know, obviously in this video, I want to talk about, you know, basically being, <laughs> being, be, not being so focused on the, like, don't be so focused on the relationship. Don't be so focused on the breakup, whatever situation that you're in, right? Because let me just say, let me, let me, let me speak to the guys that are dealing with the breakup right now, right? You're still you're processing this breakup right you like whether you broke up with them or they broke up with you and stuff like that you're hurting you're hurting you're hurting and basically if you want them and and you wanting to go back to them it's only going to give you more power to you know it's just the holding on and it makes you feel good so because that you have that because because you know you don't have that insecurity of being alone right but here's the thing that's what you need. That's what needs to happen. You know why? Because when you can simmer down the insecurity, when you can actually learn to be alone with yourself, when you can actually learn to love yourself, when you actually learn to know who the hell you really are, rather than needing someone to be with you all the time so that makes you only happy, you know, you're a different person. You're on the next level. You don't need someone else. However, there's a difference to where you want someone versus you need someone, right? Because when you want someone, you want to invite them into your life. You want to invite them to your journey. You want to, just as much as they want to invite you. But when you come from a perspective of needing, you're only, they, you only need them in your life for certain things. And when you get into relationships, you would want them, you, you would want to share the whole thing, right? And you know, let me let me ask you this question, right? Let me ask you this question. This question hit me hard, and I still think about it. Um, but what's it? If you can answer this question, right? It's not meant to be easy because you're really gonna start thinking deeply. But ask yourself this question. Ask it. What's it like being in a relationship with you? What is it like, right? So. This was something that, you know, I've never been asked this question. I never asked this question to myself. If I did, then I would have been sharing that with you a long time ago. But what's it like being in a relationship with you? I actually remember learning the quote from T. Tot Han and the whole thing behind it. You must love, you must love, you must love in such a way where the person you love feels free. When I got asked that question, at first it was a struggle, but eventually came to the conclusion that, you know, and it, and it is true that being in a relationship with me is being free right and once upon a time when i was like in these relationships in the past you know there was always something inside me that didn't feel free um uh, and you know that behavior came out to where this insecurity came out to where it's just like you know why am i so worried why i'm like there's just so many anxieties and so many worries and all these things that go through your head but this is but my point is if it wasn't for me to start focusing on myself and start to focus on becoming better than yesterday, I wouldn't have gotten to that point to where I became better, where I am better. And this is where a lot of people, after breakups, they just go into someone else. Um, you know, obviously, sex is great, you know, but they could only fill a void for so long that it's going to hit you straight in the face so hard that you're going to... It's just like... You're just running from a problem when you shouldn't be running from a problem, right? Definitely want to have fun and go out and, you know, do your thing and stuff like that. But if you are using that to run away from the problem, you are the problem. You got to understand that. So just know, coming from the perspective that, you know, 
it's hard. It's not meant to be easy, especially when you're so focused on trying to get someone back where you're trying to be with someone, like you're just focusing on being with someone. You have to focus on you. You have to focus on your purpose. Fellas have to just grind, you know, just just focus on, you know, what brings in the money, of course, for you, uh, what brings you joy, what like all the things things that make you feel happy because guess what if you're not doing all those things and someone comes into your life they're not gonna like they only have this idea but when but 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 then you know when they get into the real thing with you this idea that they want to have with you it ain't really the thing that they you know thought it would be right and you know obviously when someone has an idea of you, that they're, they're also the problem as well. Because I think when you want to be with someone, you want to be with them. Hopefully, you don't want to be with someone that's like, you know, just because you have an idea. Because when you have an idea, um, it's like, I am I hope this person could become this, right? But the whole thing is just like keep grinding and keep focusing on you. Keep doing what you got to do. When you're striving for your purpose and mission in life, you know, you're and and, and, and not only during where you're striving for your purpose and mission in life, but you're creating openings for allowing the good people that matter, that should be in your life, to come into your life, rather than, you know, not working on yourself, and you're just attracting all the negative and bad people in your life, because guess what, that does happen when you're not striving for your purpose and mission in life, and that's a problem, right, so when you keep on striving for you, and you're not just, and, and understand, like, the process of the breakup, it's gonna happen, like, it has to happen, like, it, you need to go through it, and that's the point, you gotta live and have fun with your life, that's the point, like, I tell people all the time, when I was at my lowest point emotionally, I went to have fun, I mean, it was probably one of the best times I've ever had, because I did a lot of fun shit, so, just, and for the, and, and of course, you know, I didn't say too much about like stop focusing on relationships and especially when trying to get back with someone, right? Don't focus on those relationships. You know what you should focus on instead of just being in a relationship, focusing on you should focus on building a relationship with someone, whether that's a friend, because everything has to start from there. It has to start from the you know, from the baseline. Focus on building relationships because guess what? When you can build something with someone I swear these endless opportunities out there that will just start falling on your laps and don't do it just because you're finding opportunities, but do it because you have a gen because you're a genuine person and of course that you like people. You know, I'm a person I like people and I, I, I love people, but sometimes I can get very tired of them. Um because I'm just now learning that I get drained <laughs> from people and I'm an extroverted I'm extroverted. So, you know, I'm very outgoing and social so that's pretty much the whole thing so just have fun you know live your life have fun you know things are starting to open up and the thing about it is that when you start to focusing on like you and starting to have fun you're again allowing people to come into your life don't shut off people because you you have this like whole barricade like you're it because you don't want to get hurt or you don't want to get betrayed. Got news flash for you. You're going to get hurt again. You're going to get betrayed again. It's just how it's just a matter how you deal with it this time versus how you dealt with it before. So just understand that it's inevitable. All right? Like Thanos, I am inevitable. It's inevitable, all right? So that's pretty much the whole thing. So if you guys find this information valuable, I want you to drop a like, drop a comment, drop a share. And of course, it is your man's Mr. Dominic Cruz coming at you with another video, baby. Yes, another one, another one, another one. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, take it easy.